Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for being here. Today I want to give you all a tour of some of the new vintage guitar and amp projects I've been working on recently. And this video will kind of be a preview as to what's to come here on the channel. Uh, I've got two new guitars I'll show you all in just a moment here. You might have seen them. I kind of snuck them in on Instagram and on YouTube, but I'm going to do a full length review of one of them for the next episode. And I thought it'd be cool to let you guys decide in the comments which one I should choose. Now, there's a few projects that were ongoing that kind of disappeared, so I want to give you guys an update on those. The first is my 1965 Gibson Dove. And I just got this back last week, and there's a full video and review of this guitar and the repair work that we did on that. You can check it out. But really looking forward to using this guitar for some acoustic covers. And we're also working up uh, an acoustic duo performance with me and my bass player coming very soon. Um, another guitar you might remember is the 1964 Firebird 1. And long story short, we ended up doing a full restoration, stripped the guitar, and it's now sent off for paint. And it will be a Gibson custom color in authentic nitro finish and it's going to be a surprise so I don't want to give it away but hoping to have it back in a few weeks. I've also sourced some period correct parts for the guitar so we can rebuild it and see how it turns out. Another guitar you might remember, my 1957-58 Mary Kay Stratocaster and this one is really near and dear to me but it has really been a pain in my side since the beginning. So I think it's almost done. I've really been tweaking it for the past couple months to get the string gauge right and the setup and everything because it is a little bit different guitar than I'm used to. A big V maple neck and an ash body. So um, I just want to make sure that when I do the final video on this guitar for the second time that I do it right. Uh, but I, I think I'm getting pretty close, so I'm expecting to uh, finish this one up very soon. Now, I've got some amps that I've been working on as well, so I want to give you guys a quick update on those. And then we'll get to looking at the two new guitars that I've picked up. <laughs> fires back here and this is only about half of it so definitely something I need to get sorted out but behind me is a 1969 dual showman reverb and the matching 2x15 JBL cabinet which is a ridiculous 100 watt amplifier I don't know that you can really use this in the real world but it sounds like the 60s and 70s that's it, it transported me back in time whenever I first played it so when I got it, it was really in, in original condition and needed to be totally gone through. So I just got it back from my new amp guy down in Norman, Oklahoma, and he really did a great job with it. So it's ready to go and I'll be doing an updated video on that one soon. Um, you'll see that I'm missing my 1964 uh, Super Reverb, which is really my favorite amp. And it's it usually sounds amazing but lately it's it's been kind of anemic and it didn't seem to be at a hundred percent so i did drop that off for him and, and hopefully we can figure out what's going on there because that really is my favorite amp and and it records great now down here you'll see a 1959 tweed basement which is kind of the holy grail of fender amps next to the you know early uh, twin amps. Now this one definitely sounds good and I, um, I'm i a big fan of, of tweed stuff but it's got a little bit of distortion here and there so I've been wanting to do an updated review of this amp because the first one I did just wasn't that good so um, I want to make sure it sounds right before I do that so I'll probably have him look at this one as well. It could be the two Jensen speakers that are on bottom that are the original bell cover Jensen's and I just I can't imagine the shape those are in after uh, What is it 60 years? So I've got a kit of components that will go in this amp and uh, This one will, will really be fun once it's uh, firing on all cylinders Down the way there is a Marshall amp and it's my first real Marshall and uh, I've been waiting to do a video on that one, too It sounds amazing and uh, I think you guys are really going to dig that. So let's get to the two new guitars that uh, you might have been waiting to see. Okay, so here we are at my workbench where I do 
fret work and setups and all that good stuff. You can see here, we've got a killer SG in this crazy looking Aztec gold color. And yeah, I don't wanna give this guitar away completely. I want it to be somewhat of a surprise, but it's got this killer checking going on. And really what makes this guitar special is the way that it's set up and the electronics that are used. So I've actually been doing some work on the electronics, making sure they're ready to go. And uh, I did a leveling job on the frets as well, so crowned them, and now it's really playing proper. So this will be a really cool guitar coming up. If you guys want to see this one for the next full-length review, you can let me know. Option number two is a very cool Telecaster from 1971, and I've actually had this guitar for, I don't know, maybe six months now, and this one is in all original finish with this beautiful blonde ash body which is transparent and you can see the grain. It almost looks like a one piece body which would kind of be rare for the time but it's hard to tell. So I did do a refret with 6105 and it's set up and plays great but obviously the standout feature on this guitar it has a patent number um, Gibson humbucker in the neck Keith Richards style and you know that's a really fun combination because you get this this great um, humbucker tone in the neck and then a bite your head off telecaster bridge pickup as well so this this guitar uh, really sounds great and, and this will be a fun one um, to do coming very soon so let me know which one you might decide on Another project that I'm working on is a 1960s Esquire, and this is the neck to it. It's, it's a beautiful bird's eye neck, and this guitar has a story to it, but anyways, I'm, I'm really doing a lot of work, so this one's not, not going to be ready anytime soon, but um, a 1960s Esquire is kind of a rare guitar, so this one should be fun as well. But anyhow, I just thought it'd be fun to get everybody engaged and that's what I try to do here I mean um, this is a YouTube community and I do a lot of restorations and stuff like that and it's fun to get outside opinions and and get everybody included on it and at the end of the day I mean you know I do what's best for me and for the guitar and what I want to get out of it so um, that's definitely true but uh, the more we can all be engage and work together i think the funner it will be uh for me definitely so anyhow guys i'll be looking forward to hearing from you and i'll see you in the next video peace Thank you.